Hey guys, this is Ben with Exceptional Glass, 8883 Glass. Today we're in Short Hills, New Jersey. And uh, I got a special treat for you guys. And we don't typically do this. This is a repeat client. And since every darn contractor in the world seems to be too busy to assist, I did have some spare time this morning. Her um, windows on her garage door have broken. Both of them. And I see a little impact um, <clears throat> divot here. And she's not too sure what it was, but both pieces of glass did break. There is no glass in here, as you see. Hey. So um, today, I figured I'd make a video and show you guys how you can do this yourself. Um, of course, without my uh, permission, because I hold no responsibility for you messing something up or getting hurt. All right, so uh, let's see how we get this done. All right, so this is going to be a simple one. Um, so just before you saw that I had blue tape on the outside of the framework itself The reason is is because see these screws they go all the way through the garage door and they attach To the outside molding. Okay, so the outside molding is loose once you get rid of these screws And you don't tape the outside frame all it's gonna do bleh, it's gonna fall right down. All right, so um, It's especially uh, handy if you're doing this by yourself, which I do not recommend Matter of fact, I don't even recommend doing this anyway, but let us proceed. <clears throat> so go ahead, take the screws out. You have the outside frame taped, so it's not going to fall out. All that's going to come out is going to be the interior. to take a size for your glass so so this could probably be the more complicated I mean aside from cutting the glass uh, part of it so there's no real flat surface for this freaking thing to sit on so the way this is designed is these little nubs here where the screws uh, attach has a little flat surface here that's our rest point for the glass work okay so you need to measure from top of nub to bottom of nub Minus about a sixteenth, not more than that, I don't think. And you should be good. And also the same for the width. All right, I'm here at my professional cutting table. As you see, I'm a rebel. I work right out of the blue truck today. Uh, so all I'm doing here, I've got a dimension already, but I can go ahead and use this mullion as well and lay it on top of my glass. Use a marker, mark the edges. Make sure when I do make the cut, I cut within those lines. And that's it. If you guys want to see how to cut glass uh, properly, please check out this video up here. Uh, I won't dedicate the time to showing you how to cut on this video because I'm stubborn. Stage your glass up in a safe location. Clean the glass. I've cleaned this one. That one's uncleaned. Make sure you put the cleanest side. Should be both, but the cleanest side should be facing out. That way it's against that molding there. Now is a perfect opportunity for you to also double check your tape. Make sure it's sticking well because you're going to be putting a little bit of force uh, with the glass. Um, and um, what you will call it, you know, putting the inside one also while screwing it up. And we're going to go ahead and, so that it doesn't rattle, add some silicone onto the perimeter on the sides here, or on all four sides, and it shouldn't rattle. Alright, and that's it. 
both pieces of glass installed. Now, I'm here by myself, so I couldn't quite record, and I couldn't find a, play, a comfortable place to uh, set the camera down um, to install it, but she's in, and they backed up with silicone. And now, to go outside and take off the tape. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to click like and to subscribe to see our latest DIY videos on how you can fix your own freaking shower door. And click a like thumbs up or a bit of spider will crawl on your face.